Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm back with another reading. We're going to do a check-in with my girl, Divine Feminine. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? Um, everything will be down in the description box below this video. Spirit, what messages do you have for my girl, Divine Feminine? Hey, see, I got to do my makeup and stuff. When it's time for Divine Feminine Readings, I have to do my makeup because we some bad bitches, right? So, I can't just be doing Divine Feminine Reading any kind of way. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my girl, Divine Feminine? Merry Christmas, y'all. I hope y'all having a good holiday, spending time with your family, friends, your significant other, or if you by yourself, I just hope you're, you know, having a good day. Spirit, what messages do you have for my girl, Divine Feminine? We have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. My girl, Divine Feminine. Five of Cups. Eight of Wands. Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords in Reverse. The King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And I have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, Divine Feminine, I have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have Fire. I got everybody out here except for Earth. I don't have no Earth. But I have Water, Fire, and air. Divine Feminine, I feel like somebody miss you. Somebody, I just heard melancholy. Somebody is sad. I just heard reminiscing. Somebody wants to talk to you. I feel like somebody is upset that y'all not talking. Another message I'm getting, somebody feel like the reason why you don't fuck with them no more or the reason why you don't talk to them anymore is because of their sneaky behavior. Another message, somebody feel like if they were to reach out, they feel that you will, I just heard, turn your back on them or you won't entertain them because you think they still on that bullshit. But Divine Feminine, if this person do come forward, I don't think this person will be, you know, sneaky or doing anything devilish behind your back um yeah somebody missed talking to you or another message i'm getting somebody actually feels down right now and they feel like if they were to reach out to you or if they were to talk to you, I heard, hear your voice, you will actually make this person happy or you'll make this person feel better just by hearing your voice. Somebody missed the fuck out of you. I feel like during this, this is somebody you don't fuck with at all, Divine Feminine. I feel like somebody matured. Somebody grew up. I feel like by you not even fucking with this person anymore, it made this person realize, like, damn, I did fuck over Divine Feminine or I messed up a good thing because I was an asshole, I was a jerk, and I was just doing all types of shit behind Divine Feminine back. But this came out in reverse. I just heard one more chance. Somebody want another chance with you? And they feel like this time they're not going to blow it. They actually want to spend the rest of their life with you. I have a lot of cups out here. I have the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So 
somebody has like a lot of love and emotions for you or when somebody think of you they get in their feelings like oh man i can't believe i did that to her like it's like they get sad or when they think of you it's like you make this person happy and you make this person sad too but really, they make themselves sad because of how they treated you or, you know, because of what happened between y'all. Yeah, somebody wants to talk. I have the Magician card in reverse and I have the Four of Swords upright. I feel like this person has been like manifesting and praying for you to reach out to them. Because I have this communication card. The Eight of Wands is my communication card. So, I feel like with this Magician in reverse, somebody has been like manifesting. Or they'll set like an intention for you to like come back. Or, please God... Um, uh, just let Divine Feminine just send me a text message. Like, just let her say hello. Just hi. Please, please, Lord. Please, Jesus. Just let Divine Feminine just call me. If she calls me private and hang up the phone in my face. Like, I'm just so content if she was to just call private. You know, she could just call private. Or she could just call me from somebody else's number. You know, please, please, God. Please let Divine Feminine reach out. I feel like somebody will, like, set this intention and then they'll go to sleep and then as time months days weeks go by they like what the fuck i've been praying i've been asking god for divine feminine to come back to me to return back to me man that manifestation shit don't work <laughs> it's like this is how somebody is feeling like man fuck that manifestation shit that shit don't work I've been praying for, I just heard months. This person could have been praying for you to come back to them for months now and it didn't work or something. I feel like somebody has just been sitting by the phone, waiting by the phone for you or something and you just never came back. You never returned. You never said nothing. Like somebody, I feel like somebody is disappointed in the universe too. Like they're disappointed in God. Like if this supposed to be my soulmate or my lover, why she haven't came back to me? Why you not answering my prayers? You know, somebody is like questioning God. That's another uh, message. Look, I have the three of swords in reverse. I have the five of pentacles in reverse. I mean, upright. Three of Swords in Reverse, Five of Pentacles Upright with my communication card. It came out like this. I feel like somebody just feel... Oh, my nose is itching. Somebody just feel like left out. Divine Feminine, somebody feel like you just forgot about them. I just heard cold-blooded. Somebody feel like you cold-blooded bitch. Like that cold-blooded, cold-hearted bitch. Like that's how somebody look at Divine Feminine. Heartless. I just heard heart Divine Feminine, somebody feel like you're so heartless. <laughs> somebody feel like you heartless. Somebody feel like that bitch haven't called me, haven't texted me. That bitch don't know if I'm dead or alive. She's so cold-hearted. She's selfish. Divine Feminine don't care about nobody but herself. How dare Divine... Somebody feel like you're so disrespectful, Divine Feminine, because you just don't fuck with them no more. It's like... <laughs> The look, the audacity, okay? The the nerve of this person, divine feminine. The fuck. The thing is, you had every right to stop fucking with this person, but according to this person, they feel like if we're soulmates, twin flames, and stuff, like how dare you abandon? I heard abandoned. Somebody feel like you abandoned them.
you left them for dead. But let me tell y'all, what goes around comes around. I feel like this is this person's karma. I feel like it was one point of time Divine Feminine felt like this person left this person left Divine Feminine out for dead or this Divine Masculine left Divine Feminine out for dead or abandoned Divine Feminine, neglected her and everything, right? And it's like now that the tables turn, somebody don't know how to handle it. I have the Three of Cups. I have the Page of Swords. And I have the Nine of Cups. <coughs> Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Whoever I'm talking to. Talking about. This person is definitely watching you. But I feel like when they watch you. Or when they see pictures of you. <clears throat> this person could be on your social media, your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Snapchat, whatever social media outlet that you're on. I feel like this person is watching you. Divine Feminine, you could be out or you could be going out having fun with your friends or doing stuff with your friends or family. Whatever you're posting on the internet, I feel like you posting that you're having a good time. I just heard without this person. Somebody don't like that you having a good time without them. But it when you upload pictures of yourself or something, they feel at ease because they they can see what you're doing, what you're up to. This is another message, Divine Feminine. Whoever I'm talking about, this could be your Divine Masculine or whoever you don't fuck with no more. This person likes that you have a life without them. It's like they want to be a part of your life, but they like that you don't make this Divine Masculine or whoever you, whoever it is. They like that you don't make this person the center of your universe, right? So they like that you have friends, you have a life, and you do things. You Like, you can live without them. They like that. And by you living without them actually make this person want you even more. So, on the contrary, I have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and I have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Whoever I'm talking about, I feel like they uh, they got somebody. This could be a karmic, and I feel like the karmic is the opposite. The karmic is not independent, and the karmic can't walk away from... People, places, and things that no longer serve them. Somebody is still attached to the other person. But it's like this codependency. Somebody like that you're not codependent. But they're... The karmic or the person they're with now is very codependent on your person. I just heard I don't want to be a player no more. Somebody don't want to be a player anymore. I feel like somebody graduated from the Knight of Wands to a King of Cups. Like somebody graduated. They went from being a boy to a man. From boys to men. This person. Divine Feminine. I feel like since you've been away. <coughs> Since you've been away, I feel like this person life kind of went downhill. 
and it's like they was they was taking their frustrations out on the people around them because you not in their life anymore. I feel like this person was so upset with you to where y'all wasn't in communication. So this person, you know, will take their frustrations out on the karmic, on a friend's family, on whoever, because of you not fucking with this person no more. And I feel like somebody is realizing by them arguing, I feel like this person had a lot of arguments, a lot of disagreements with people around them. Somebody's coming to their senses like, you know what, I am tripping. It is me. I do miss this girl. I, I, I'm in love with her, you know, like, I need to get my family back. I need to get my girl back. It's something like that going on here. I have the Hermit, I have the World card in reverse, and I have the Ten of Cups. I feel like somebody been, because I heard studying you, and I do have uh, the Page of Swords out here. That's my lurking, stalking card. I feel like somebody been studying you. Okay, Divine Feminine. It's a woman. I feel like this woman been studying you. Somebody's been, oh, it's so annoying. Divine Feminine, I feel like it's a woman or this karmic been studying you so they can use what they learn from you on your Divine Masculine or whoever you don't fuck with anymore. I feel like whatever you're doing, Divine Feminine, somebody is learning things from you. But yet, they feel like, okay, well, since I learned this from Divine Feminine, it has to work on this Divine Masculine because deep down, I know that's who he want to be with, right? So, I'm about to just take whatever I know, study whatever I can from this girl. The world card in reverse. Now, if this... If the card came out upright, then I'm like, okay, well, whatever the bitch taking from Divine Feminine is working. But the nigga still don't want you. Whoever I'm talking, because this it pisses me off. Whoever I'm talking about, whoever this bitch studying Divine Feminine, it came out like this. The the it came out like this. So I have the Queen of Wands, the Hermit. The world card in reverse and the ten of cups upright. Somebody is... I feel like the more they take from you, the more it makes this divine masculine wants you even more divine feminine. Somebody is fucking dumb. <coughs> but the, the crazy part is this person thinks they so smart. Somebody's actually like being conniving, like he 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 he. Yeah, I'ma take this from Divine Feminine. I'ma take that from her. Yeah, and I'ma I'ma build myself up with whatever I stole from Divine Feminine. Somebody fucking stupid, and it's like whatever they took from Divine Feminine. One, this Divine Masculine I already know, like. You don't even act like that. Divine Feminine actually act like that. You don't have no backbone. Divine Feminine has a backbone. Like somebody already sees through 
what this karmic is doing. And it makes this person even more lame. The thing is, everything this karmic is doing is backfiring on the karmic. Because you, you, you take it from Divine Feminine to impress this Divine Masculine the whole time. The Divine Masculine know where you got that from. The Divine Masculine already knows this karmic. Somebody is very uh, predictable. So... Any little thing they try to change up, I feel like this Divine Masculine already knows, like, where this person got this information from, or somebody already knows what the other person is doing, right? So, but somebody else feel like they so smart, they feel like they can get away with anything, and the Divine Masculine is not going to find out. So, with this World card out here in reverse, I feel like... This divine masculine still don't want you, karmic. Or, you know, it's it, your relationship is still going to be the same. He's still going to uh, disrespect you or he's still not going to want you. <laughs> because he already got somebody. He already got the divine feminine, the person that you actually trying to be like. So fucking lame. Like, this is really lame as hell. I ain't going to lie. And then if I pull up the next card, I have... The five of swords in reverse. Somebody. This could be this karmic. Somebody. They don't want to feel like they lost. You know. they On the cool. They feel like. In order for them. To keep this divine masculine. Is to take from divine feminine. But by you taking from divine feminine. You already lost. Like you already. You're, you're lame. Like. This shit is lame as hell, man. And look, the King of Swords, like I said, King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody can see right through this shit. It's just so, so lame. Like, people are so fucking lame. But that's what I have for this reading, Divine Feminine. Thank you. You know what? Do I want to pull additional messages? I'm going to pull additional messages. I'm pulling. Spirit, what um additional messages do you have for divine feminine? Spirit, what messages additional messages do you have for divine feminine? Okay, so it's like this could be the one you already met, the romantic partner you seek. So, yeah, this is the divine masculine. It's like soulmate. Yes, <coughs> this is your soulmate, divine masculine. It's a like passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like this divine masculine, <laughs> like uh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Divine Masculine, I have a lot of cups out here. A lot, okay? It's like, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like this is the Divine Masculine seeing the karmic trying to be like Divine Feminine. I heard dress like Divine Feminine and everything. It says, like, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Remember at the beginning of the reading, somebody was... um. Somebody was praying for you to return to them and stuff like that. It's like, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like somebody was trying to manifest and think positive to bring you back in their life, but it didn't work. So somebody, it's like positive thinking. Somebody was trying to have like positive thinking and stuff like that, but it's like now they kind of lost faith. So that's all I have for this reading, Divine Feminine. Thank you. Bye-bye.